What is Mercury hiding? The enigmatic images from the Messenger probe reveal. But can Mercury really be so close to the Sun? It's amazing! Exploring Mercury is considered a technical challenge. Due to its proximity to the Sun, probes have to withstand extreme conditions. But we need to learn more about this celestial body if we want to solve the mystery of the connections in our solar system. What new insights will the Bepi Colombo mission that reaches Mercury bring? Mercury has long been considered a mystery in the solar system. As a tiny dot, it periodically passes in front of the Sun as seen from us. Studying and observing Mercury is therefore extremely difficult. If you want to see it, you either have to look into the light of the Sun or it is difficult to capture the tiny object in the depths of space as a single object. Mercury has already caused confusion in the Middle Ages. Sometimes it was thought to be a double planet. Then it was mistaken for another fictitious planet called Vulcan. Nothing was known about Mercury's surface for a long time. It was only in 1974 that Mariner 10 took the first images and photographed 45% of Mercury's surface. Since the Mariner mission, we know more about the planet's temperatures and magnetic field. In 2004, Messenger reached Mercury's orbit and remained there for more than 10 years. In 2015, at the end of the mission, we had hundreds of thousands of photos of this exciting celestial body. And since then, scientists have known almost the entire surface of Mercury. The findings were astonishing because this tiny planet shows an astonishingly eventful life. For the first time, researchers had a more precise idea of Mercury's inner composition and diverse geological structures. By far, the hottest region on Mercury is the ravine of fire, with the hottest temperatures reaching up to 427 degrees Celsius. This hotspot was probably created by a huge impact crater with a diameter of 1,550 kilometers. The heat collects in the crater in a special way, and minerals and special types of rock in the depths further reflect the immense solar radiation on Mercury. Pantheon Fossae is a unique structure of radial trenches radiating from a central point. This landscape on Mercury was probably formed by tectonic activity or by the mechanisms of planetary cooling. Enterprise Rups, the largest known escarpment on Mercury, is also a consequence of the shrinkage caused by cooling process in the core. The cliff stretches more than 1,000 kilometers across Mercury's rugged surface. The crater rock Mananoff is rather small, with a diameter of 290 kilometers. The center is dominated by a ring chain of high peaks that are probably of volcanic origin. A huge crater with a diameter of 716 kilometers is the Rembrandt Crater. Here, researchers have found a multitude of smaller geological formations and numerous valuable clues to Mercury's turbulent past. Planetary researchers refer to the coldest region around Mercury's North Pole as Regio Borealis. It may seem unbelievable, but Mercury has such intense and permanent shadow conditions in deep craters there that scientists suspect the existence of water ice. Finding traces of ice so close to the Sun was considered a miracle of astronomy and planetary research. What else do we know about Mercury? Did you know that the planet Mercury is smaller than the largest moons in the solar system? Mercury is even slightly smaller than Pluto, and with its dense crater-strewn surface, is somewhat similar to our moon. Mercury itself has no natural satellite and has a thin exosphere instead of a stable atmosphere, which means that it is not capable of holding an atmosphere like that of our Earth. Even Mars has a denser atmosphere than Mercury. Mercury's orbit around the Sun is highly elliptical and varies in distance from about 46 million kilometers at perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, to about 70 million kilometers at aphelion, the farthest point. A Mercury year, that is, a complete orbit around the Sun, lasts only 88 Earth days. Interestingly, Mercury's rotation period and orbit are linked by a phenomenon called 3 to 2 resistance. For every two orbits around the Sun, Mercury rotates three times on its axis. This means that a day on Mercury, from one sunrise to the next, is 176 Earth days long. Mercury's axis of rotation is almost perpendicular to its orbit plane, with an inclination of only about 
0.034 degrees, which means that there are no seasons with significant temperature differences on Mercury. The temperatures on Mercury fluctuate extremely, despite its proximity to the Sun. On the sunny side, they easily climb up to 427 degrees Celsius, and on the night side, they can drop as low as minus 173 degrees Celsius. These extreme temperature differences are due to the planet's thin atmosphere, as it can store virtually no heat. These extremes show us once again how lucky we are to have our blue planet. The fact that the Earth has a balanced climate and… is possibly… Mercury's surface was largely shaped by pronounced volcanism and tectonic activity. The surface, which is characterized by craters, mountain ranges, and huge cliffs, has not experienced any serious upheavals for 3.8 million years. At present, most of the movements of the plates are due to the shrinking of the planet's core. Standing on Mercury would be an experience of extremes. During the day, you would hardly see anything through the blindingly bright sun, and the night would be uncomfortably cold and dark. The sun appears about three times as large in the sky as it does on Earth. Due to Mercury's slow rotation, the planet experiences long periods of day and night. Each day lasts around 176 Earth days from sunrise to sunrise. If you were always in the same region of Mercury, you would experience 176 days of extreme sunlight and heat, followed by a long period of cold and darkness. The air on Mercury is very thin due to the lack of atmosphere, but the planet has an exosphere of atoms emitted by the solar wind and the planetary surface itself. This exosphere consists mainly of hydrogen, helium, oxygen, sodium, calcium, and potassium but the proportions of these gases around the planet are not comparable to actual air. The atmospheric pressure on Mercury is extremely low, almost like a vacuum, and is almost zero bar. By comparison, the average air pressure on the Earth's surface is around one bar. These conditions mean that there is no atmospheric pressure on Mercury as we experience it on Earth. Due to the lack of a real atmosphere, there is no weather phenomena on Mercury as we know it. There are no winds, no rain, and no cloud formation. Compared to the dynamic weather conditions on Earth, some moons or the ice giant Neptune, the conditions on Mercury are almost static. The only movement comes from the day and night rhythm and the extreme temperature differences. Without a protective atmosphere, Mercury's surface is constantly exposed to harsh solar radiation and cosmic rays. Together with the temperature fluctuations, the environment in this world becomes so hostile that we can rule out any form of terrestrial life here. Was there once life on Mercury? Let us consider for a few moments the question of whether life could once have existed here. Ever since the phenomenon of water ice deposits in Mercury's permanently shaded craters near the poles became known, researchers have naturally wondered whether there could once have been lakes or rivers on Mercury. We also know today, we also know today, that Mars had a much more pronounced atmosphere in the past. It gradually lost it due to its weak magnetic field. Solar radiation practically etched away the last of the red planet's protection, which led to it drying out and becoming desolate. Simulations have shown that Mars may have previously had a water cycle, oceans, rivers, and lakes. Would such a scenario also be conceivable for Mercury? Theoretically, yes, but Mercury is so close to the Sun that it is doubtful that it ever really had liquid water on its surface. However, there is an exciting theory that Mercury was formed much further out in the solar system and was only later pushed into its current position by gravitational interactions. In this case, it would of course be possible that the conditions on Mercury were once more favorable. Mercury's magnetic field is surprising. Scientists are surprised that this planet has a magnetic field. These fields are generated by dynamic processes inside the planets and act like a protective shield. They vary greatly in intensity and structure throughout the solar system. Mercury's magnetic field has a surprising feature. It was discovered by the Mariner 10 mission in the 1970s. Although Mercury's magnetic field is only about 1% of the strength of the Earth's magnetic field, 
its existence is of great importance. It is assumed that this field, similar to Earth's, is generated by a dynamo-like process in the planet's liquid outer core. This leads to the conclusion that Mercury has a partially molten iron core that generates the magnetic field. In comparison, Earth's magnetic field is generated by the dynamo effect in the liquid outer core, where the flow of molten iron generates electric currents. These currents form the Earth's magnetic field, which is a crucial factor for life on our planet. Without the magnetic field, the Earth would be almost unprotected from solar radiation. Without this protection, there would be no vegetation here, and we would not exist either. When the Sun blows its streams of particles in our direction, the magnetic field intercepts them and initially guides them into large chambers, where the particles are moved up and down until they have lost their force. We know this phenomenon as auroras because the concentration of particles is particularly high at the poles. Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field known in the solar system. Its magnetic field is so powerful that it forms a huge radiation belt system with the captured solar wind particles. Jupiter's magnetic field is very probably generated by movements in its metallic hydrogen core. The gas giants Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune also have strong magnetic fields, which are generated by movements in their liquid metallic hydrogen layers. The magnetic fields of the giant planets presumably play a significant role in the complexity of the atmospheres, and they also contribute to the formation of the ring systems. Venus and Mars have no global magnetic field at all, which is simply due to the differences in the processes in the interior. Where the dynamo process is absent, no magnetic field is formed. Mars is thought to have once had a magnetic field, but it disappeared billions of years ago, when the core cooled and the dynamo process stopped. In the case of Venus, the slow rotation could be the reason for the absence of the magnetic field. In addition to providing protection from solar wind particles, magnetic fields play a crucial role in protecting planetary surfaces from cosmic rays and erosive processes. B. Mercury definitely still holds some secrets that we have not yet understood. For this reason, ESA and JAXA have developed a joint project to study Mercury in more detail. Bepi Colombo is an orbiter that was launched on October 20, 2018 and is expected to enter a fixed orbit around Mercury in December 2025. The mission objectives are to answer further questions about the formation of the solar system and the processes that led to the formation of the inner planets. The mission is intended to clarify questions such as whether Mercury really once formed elsewhere in the solar system and what fate will befall the mini planet. Some astronomers predict that Mercury's gravity could push the planet into the Sun in the distant future. Subscribe to the channel now, there are many more video highlights to come.